back in today's presentation i will develop operational metrics for incident management process the objective of incident management process is to resolve the incident and restore the service as quickly as possible when we say restore the service it also implies that we could have a work around that may not actually close the problem but yes it will resolve the incident and let the end user continue with what he or she was doing so in an ideal world there would be no incidents having said that if i am going to compare it with the real world we are going to have a number of incidents and that would be the first parameter as to how many incidents were generated within the time frame now of these incidents how many were severity level 1 severity level 2 severity level 3 or the way you have defined now of these how many actually impacted the customer why is there a difference between this and how many impacted the customer for example in the organization where i am consulting presently we have defined the severity level 1 as a server breakdown uh, level 2 is a network unavailability now we could have a network avail unavailability at midnight wherein the customer may not be impacted hence we make a distinction between number of severity level 1 incidents two incidents and of these how many impacted the customer so what we are trying to say we heard is these were the number of incidents of these total number of incidents these ones were the ones which were severe and of the severe incidents these are the incidents that caused the customer inconvenience and a business impact <coughs> having said this how many of these incidents were resolved within the laid down sms again if we say that the network should be restored within 4 hours the customer could be impacted if the network unavailability was during the peak hours of business operation and based on the end users resources we have decided that 4 hours is the sla so we know that the business is going to be impacted but we want to control the impact and therefore we want to restore the service within 4 hours so how many of these incidents were restored within the laid down sls so we define this operation parameter the next will be what are the resources that we have spent or exhausted in handling the incidents so this will be man hours person hours or person days it's more important that we calculate this as the total percentage of time that the people are working so let's say if i am working 8 hours and of the 8 hours i spend 2 hours resolving incidents that means 2 of 8 25% of my time is actually going on incidents that means i am actually firefighting it's going into something that is not creating value 25% of my time is going just to restore the value whereas it would be ideal if 
the entire hundred percent of my time actually goes to create value. The sort of number of incidents, the various severity levels, how many of them impacted the customer, how many of these incidents we could restore within the service level agreements as predefined, what was the time that we spent, and how many of these incidents were reoccurrences. When we resolve incident, we want to ensure that it doesn't happen again. So we need to monitor as to how many of these incidents were reoccurrences. It means that the first time we didn't resolve it correctly. In this case, it would actually refer or escalate it to the problem management level, where it would get down to the root cause and ensure that this incident doesn't happen again. In addition to this, what is common across all processes is what is the maturity of our process and what is the maturity of the tools that we are using for incident management. So these are the various operational metrics that we need to monitor measure and then based on this metrics we can define our key performance indicators the KPIs and the KGIs and derive an overall maturity level for our process. Thank you for listening and please be back.